Marla Christine, the recall effort was successful in San Francisco, but here in L.A. County, despite two attempts, it has failed. Organizers just simply did not collect enough signatures. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. This one we lost. I'm disappointed in it, but I have to respect the process and then figure out ways to move forward. Supporters of the recall George Gascon movement say they are shocked to learn so many signatures were tossed out. It seemed like the movement was towards uh, removing George Gascon from office. So it was shocking to me um, that we did come up short. The county clerk's office says more than 715,000 signatures were submitted, but after going over all the signatures, more than 195,000 were found to be invalid. Some were duplicates, others belong to people who don't live in LA County and are not registered to vote. In the end, organizers did not have the required signatures to put the measure on the ballot. They were short by just under 47,000 signatures. George Gascon can say today, echoing Mark Twain, that rumors of my demise have been wildly exaggerated. USC law professor Jody Armour, who is not a fan of recall efforts, says this is a perfect example of how a few vocal activists don't represent the majority of L.A. County voters. We should recognize the outsized influence that sometimes vocal activists can have and giving an impression that there's a lot of support for a particular direction when there isn't. George Gascon's office issued the following statement that says in part, we are obviously glad to move forward from this attempted political power grab, but we also understand there is far more work that needs to be done. We will, of course, have a lot more on this story tonight at 7 and 10 p.m. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.